I was born in Washington, D.C. in 1941, and I grew up in the Buckingham Apartments here in Arlington. My mother was from the South, and a product of the South, but most of my playmates were from very liberal um, New York Jewish families who had a completely different view of the world. I think just the, the general attitudes that were floating around in their families influenced me. And I had seen the wide discrepancy in conditions for blacks and whites in the South. And what we learned in Sunday school and in government class, we hold these truths to be self-evident. Um, we were not doing what we, you know, practicing what we preached, and I thought we should. So in 1960, with the sit-ins, there was my chance. I was at Duke University, and Durham, North Carolina was the second city to have sit-ins um, after Greensboro, North Carolina. So these well-spoken, well-dressed, Students from North Carolina College explained to us about the sit-ins and then invited us to join them. So a handful of us did, and I ended up dropping out of Duke. The administration and I parted company over all of this, and quickly connected with some students who were planning to sit in in Arlington. This would be June of 1960, and hey, I was experienced. I'd been arrested twice in Durham, and Arlington was my home turf. So um, I was in the first sit-ins in Arlington. Arlington only took about a week to integrate. I think a lot of the local chains were primarily owned and managed by more of these New York liberal Jewish types that came down during the Depression. And they had no personal problem with integrated service, but the state law um, would have had them arrested for allowing us to eat together. Well, once the local prosecutor said he wouldn't enforce that, everything opened up. And so we turned our focus to Glen Echo Amusement Park. And that became a summer long picket. I, being white and familiar with the place, could go in and buy tickets. Other folks did the same and we shared them around with the students who would go and sit on the merry-go-round, ticket in hand, and get arrested. Um, and it became sort of have movement, will travel. We were out in Bethesda, at Heiser Theater. We were at Gifford's Ice Cream Place, another point in local history. We were at Hot Shops, you know, we were just all over the place locally. To see change at home in many ways is sweeter than seeing it in, you know, at a distance. <laughs>